everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge channel. Snark. We got Roni over here. Hey, Roni. Roni doesn't blink, he doesn't talk, he doesn't... He snuggles on his own terms. If I were to go pick him up right now, you'd freak. So, he's just happy over in his chair over there. Just letting you guys know, he's not coming over to hang out. Today we're going to be diving into one of my favorite uh, new family vloggers I've never ever met in my life before. Love Meg, or as I like to call her, Love Meg. This woman is a dumpster fire. Like, already right off the top, we've discovered through watching videos of her that she's not gonna give her kids any of the money that they're owed, even though she uses them for her videos, and that they should pull themselves up by their bootstraps. Also, she micromanages her life to the point of like, pulling out their clothes every single day and feeding them stuff in baggies. So yeah, mother of the year. This is like a atom bomb of snark in this channel. This woman is probably one of the most ugh I've ever seen. Like Micah, Micah's twin sister. I'm, I'm a little high. I got a new chair if you didn't know, but there we go. I had Tyson put it together. Isn't it nice? Got it on Amazon. Let's get to it. Let's throw a basketball. Let's get going here. Let me see. Let me see. Let's see who's getting one. Who's getting one. Let's pull up the old list of basketball tossers. That's... I didn't mean to say that. All right, who we got today? We're gonna go on the old, you know what I'm gonna do soon? I'm gonna put all my Patreons in a little thing and let the wheel choose from this point forward. Like it's, I'm over it, okay? Cassie Aarons, Cassie Aarons is a, is a Patreon. And this one is for you. Oh, I'm getting better. Let's roll. <laughs> So like most of my videos, I have not even seen this. Often I'll get uh, an Instagram message from somebody who says, you have to snark in this video, it's so bad. And apparently in this video, she's having a bad day or something, talks about muffins and something. I don't know, but let's get to it. Some snark for Sunday before the Super Bowl. Well, probably right around the Super Bowl, I'm not gonna lie, well, Super Bowl now. Okay, it's like 5.30. So watch this after the Super Bowl, I don't care. I'm, am I allowed to say Super Bowl? Whatever. Anyway, let's get to this. Let's snark on it. It's about nine minutes. Let's roll with this. Let's see what kind of day. I think is it's called Day in the Life or something. What is this video called? I don't even know what it's called. When you don't want to get out of bed in the morning, clean with me 2021 morning routine. This is a relatively fresh video. And the thumbnail's like, really? Does anybody really ever look like this? Who looks like this? Who has kids? I've never, I don't even know people who look like this don't have kids. But can we be real? This is shit. But let's go through this shit together. Let's let's brave this new world of shit together, shall we? We got creepy makeup baby standby. I got my haunted wooden spoon, my haunted wooden guitar spoon. I got my swear pillow ready. We are ready. And it's gonna be fun. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new here. Is that a picture of herself on her mug? And she's matching with her sweater. Mm-hmm. Narcissism. Narcissism. I should write a song for this. How to tell if you're a narcissist? You've got a mug with your face on it, and it matches your sweater. And I'm pissed, cause you don't see it. You don't see you are a fail. Fail, fail. Please stop vlogging with those pink ass ugly nails. So here's the problem here. here well, there's another mug there, sorry. She is clothed in leggings and a messy bun and she eats pizza without fear of the future. Why do people buy shit like this, okay? And then looks like the way she looks like in her $150 robe. Get lost out of here with that shit, please, thanks. Okay. Let's go. Today's video is going to be a different one. That That's exactly the same shit that B Bits of Bish uses. The same font with the sparkly thing, the reveal. Probably the same font. Get your own shit, people. This is why nobody likes you. Like, did you... 
It's because you're the same as everybody before you. Think Roni wants out. That I hope is super helpful to y'all. I know that there are so many people who watch my channel to help with their depression and anxiety. Why would you watch this channel to help with your depression and anxiety? For real question. I'm not I'm trying to make fun of people with that. <laughs> if I have anxiety, I'm not watching someone uh, make shitty coffee in a mug with their face on it. I'm sorry. And just to get a boost of motivation when you're feeling depleted and out of energy and just not inspired at all. And I wanted to film this video called when you don't want to get out of bed in the morning. <laughs> it's like the longest title in the world. When you don't want to get out of the bed in the morning, but you got to put this robe on and put a towel on your head and the nanny's late and shit. Hit, you know, you just you don't want to get out. Apparently she spends one day a month in bed or something like that. She the nanny or the, the dad. She's like, I am not getting out of bed and she spends the entire day in bed and no one's allowed to talk to her. Could you imagine that luxury of all the things from a mom? If my wife got to do, I'm, I've let her do that. Sleep in, you know, I don't get to sometimes, but we kind of trade off. So my, uh, if my wife needs a break, I will take care of all the stuff in the morning, uh, do everything I can do so she can just chill in bed because she's got an exam or something. Like I get that, but apparently she's like 24 hours, don't talk to me. Could you imagine having that luxury? Could you imagine? I'm jealous. That would hopefully speak to some of y'all and just say you speak to you. Is it like it's like a thing saying y'all? Y'all. A video that you can go back to. That looks weak as shit. What is that? Looks like piss. She's doing a pregnancy test or a coffee machine or something. Over and over again, whenever you're just laying in bed in the morning and you need to get out of bed and you're just feeling anxious or depressed or you wish you had. What is this mug? Is it her or is it like some famous actress from the 50s that they all aspire to be probably likely died of an overdose a friend there to encourage you and help you right now and I've actually had this video idea in my head for a while but procrastinated because I didn't know if I would have anything profound to actually tell you and you likely don't at all anyway right am I right right okay I'm right until I needed it this morning myself. I know that like 95% of the people who watch my channel are women. And so you understand this when I say my hormones are not my best friend this week. And I have less patience than I normally do. Don't just blame it on your hormones. Every human goes through this type of stuff. If I'm hungry, don't even, don't even say hi to me. So I'll be like, what's that supposed to mean? What are you, what are you trying to say there? Okay, it's called being hangry. I'm not as motivated as I normally am. And this week I'm just not myself and my emotions are a mess and negative thoughts love to creep in this week in particular. Look at her shit, eh? Like my shit's from the dollar store. That shit looks luxurious. Like her measuring spoon is gold. <laughs> So this morning I started making these super easy muffins, literally one step, add the milk, mix together. Mm, that's two steps. Add the mix, then add the milk, then stir. So just saying, just saying. But I totally messed it up and I added too much milk. <laughs> it's literally the easiest recipe in the world. <laughs> and when you're not feeling like yourself, those thoughts can totally spiral. And my the shit's going everywhere. <laughs> thoughts like, why can't I do this small task? Like it should have been so easy. Why do I fail? Did she mess up a recipe just so she could say this for this video? I mean, she said she woke up to do this video and then she messed up while doing the, okay. Okay, we get it. More times than I would like to admit to you guys. Um, why do I fail so much in the kitchen? I suck at cooking. Why do... Yeah. It seem like there's always going to be something every day to mess up and try... She keeps stirring that shit like it's gonna thick. <laughs> yeah, I hate my life. Give me a break, love meh. Cue sad music. My God, Rick. <laughs> Love Matt, are you gonna be okay? You just put the muffin mix in the thing and it's, you put too much milk in it. I, <laughs> in your million dollar kitchen and your gold measuring. <laughs> are you, I get it. I, I feel I'm on the same wavelength. I've also failed like you have failed, Finn. 
Come on. You derail me, and I feel like a hey, failure when... You failed. Throw this shit in the garbage. Start another one. Things like this happen. So I sat there with my thoughts for a minute. And <laughs> you're pudding, apparently. <laughs> honestly, just contemplated going back. I'd still eat that shit. I'd still eat it. To bed. Not filming anything at all today. Not doing anything... What is this suit you're wearing? What is this? Else productive. I probably gave myself the option to give up for about 15 minutes. And during those 15 minutes, my thought- Can we be real though? What giving up means to love meh and what giving up means to like real people? For her giving up means going back to bed, I give up. For some people, it's like, you don't have groceries. You don't, you don't know where your money's coming from. You might be going through a divorce. You might be doing something crazy. Your kids might be a bunch of a-holes. Like a lot of people's give up is a lot different than hers, which is just don't make your bed of the day. This is why this shit is like icky, right? I'm not the only one who thinks that. It's just, I have thought about giving up forever. Like you're just like, let's, let's be real what you're talking about. That's shit. I, and I almost guarantee you she would have put 15 pillows on this bed, okay? This went from, I'm awful in the kitchen, I'm awful at reading instructions, mm -hmm. I might need to just be real with myself today and take it easy to... Take it easy? What do you do? What do you do? All you do is take it easy, lady! You shit, you put a camera on your face, and then you like make muffins and you shit the bed on that, and then you make a bed, and then you film going to Starbucks and... What do you mean, take it easy? The people that work there, I ask them, this is what makes me so mad about these people. There are people, like myself and others, likely a lot of people watching this, who work their, who really work their asses off to feed their kids, to clothe their kids, to give the kids everything they need to, to live their life. They really work their asses off. Can family vloggers please be here with me? You don't actually work, okay? Let's not call this a job. I mean, you get paid for it, sure. So I guess technically it's a job, but you're not working, okay? Editing video, I do it full time. It's really easy. It's not it take a lot of work. It's not physically like, oh my god, I just finished a video. I'm so tired. I need a Starbucks. <laughs> okay, chill, chill with what you're. Okay, all right. Sorry. You know what? It's okay that I'm not patient enough to One, read directions. Two, it's because I'm a person whose mind is normally running three, 100 miles a minute because. I'm a creative person Four, and I see possibilities and potential five, in six. everything, which makes me distracted very easily. But I do love those traits about myself. And that one Bring thought pillows. started a positive yes, spiral nine. of thoughts about what I love about myself and what I am good at. I am. You missed the underwear and the, uh, the crusty sock. <laughs> you know? I cracked a blanket in half. Do you get where I'm going with that? I cracked it in. Great at providing for my family. I am great at making my family feel loved. I am a fun. Hey, it looks like my dog, only light colored. So apparently I heard this too, that Meg likes to flaunt that she's the breadwinner. There's nothing wrong with a woman being a breadwinner. Like, bring it. When my wife becomes a nurse practitioner someday, I am going to be, she's sugar mama, and I'm going to be like, lay it, lounge in the sun while someone feeds me peeled grapes and fans me with a... Fans me with a branch. Absolutely gonna happen. But apparently she's really, really gross about how she does it. Like, and her husband's like, no, no, it's all good. And I get it, because he's like living the dream, but she like flaunts it. So we're gonna dive into those videos someday too. Um, I do know that about myself. I love how I've decorated our home and I feel like I do have a talent for that. And thoughts like this just went on and on. And that's when the light bulb went off. This is how you get yourself motivated to get out of bed and not only boss up, but love yourself. Okay, mom boss. I decorated our house so that I like it. Nobody else likes it, but I like it. My husband, when you walk in here, the people are like, do five women live here? <laughs> That's what apparently happens at our house. And throughout the day, give yourself a little bit of grace. I also hope that by doing this video- Why do you stage your house? You're just gonna throw that shit in the ground when you go to bed. You realize how normal these thoughts are? Not one person watching no. this right now no. thinks that they've got it together all the time. And it's, it's just great at everything that they do. We all have these negative thoughts about ourselves and that's okay because it's normal. What's not okay is sitting in those thoughts for too long and actually believing those thoughts. And I want you to focus on what you love about yourself today and what you're good at. Thank you for permission. Here's what I'm good at. Snarking on these shitty ass videos. I wish I had a better talent than shredding people to bits in their arguments. I wish I did. I wish I was good at other things. 
Sadly, this is my, my cross to bear. This is my curse. But you're here for it. So let's continue, shall we, on that? What is that? Is that a pin cushion? Turn these negative thoughts into positive ones. For instance, it could be true that you woke up this morning with anxiety all over you. But are you anxious for no reason? Probably not. Could be. Could have generalized anxiety disorder, which is anxious for no reason. Which is, you know, it's okay to be... To have that too, but she's just again. Why is she waxing all psychology on us? She's wearing fucking cow pajamas. Okay, sorry. And they're not even okay. Whatever. Where did you even get the cow pajamas? Where do you get pajamas like that? I want some. It could be because you love and care about someone or something so much that you want to be the very best. Is that a jar of piss? Why is there, why are these family vloggers with the piss? What is it with the piss in these people? Is this something I'm missing out on? Is there some kind of like piss pact they've made with each other that there's just jars of piss all over the house? I don't get it. At the things that you do for them or for yourself. And let me tell you, that does not make- She threw a shit behind the thing. <laughs> That's what I do, do I clean up those, so I get it. So does that make me a cleaning guru? Cool. You a bad person or uncapable. That makes you an amazing person for caring so much. Or maybe it's because your to-do list is so big and you've got... Can we think of other people in the house? Like, if I'm, my, if I'm her husband, I'm like, why does this shit smell like grandmother's frickin' potpourri thing on the back of the toilet? Can we chill? Can you allow your husband to have maybe a little bit of... Like, I get it. Like, I understand this, but if, uh, these types of women, and I know these types of women, I have, like, lots of my family. Like, where the whole place is, like, a, it's like a shrine to them. The way that they decorate, the way they make it all smell. The guy's, like, I don't even, it's like the guy's the roommate. Like, he's a guest, <laughs> right? Like, I get it. I would actually appreciate someone cleaning my house. Like, that's not gonna lie. Apparently, though, she doesn't really do this. She puts a camera and cleans one room, and then the cleaning lady does the rest, but just saying. Do you really gotta spritz the shit everywhere? Can a dude not, like, he's gonna go up to his buddies and they're gonna be like, Guy, why do you smell like rose water? You okay? Did you score the, did you score the rippers without us, dude? <laughs> not cool, bro. He's like, no, no, it's, when I, when I, when I wake up, my wife spritzes me with this shit. I don't know, it's, it's like her marking her territory or something. I don't know what I should do, man. All this anxiety because you don't know where to even start. And you're worried that you are not gonna be able to get it all. Fire hazard. And today. Look at that ring. Whoo! Do I need to bring the snark ring for Megan? Oh, uh, someone said I need to do it, so I will. Bring out the snark ring for love, meh. She's flaunting that shit, eh? Oh, it's a beefy ass ring on some, some fingers that are fingerly. I feel like that also kind of goes back to- She's not a hand model, though, but I am. Ladies, be careful what you wish for. Hey. So now I know when I'm like, if I ever have to like, get back in the dating market for whatever reason, I'm just gonna be just walking around like this. Hey, what's up? You wanna get a coffee later or something? Because apparently my hands are nice. That's what people have told me, and it's it's flattering. You loving someone and um, wanting to do your very best. I don't even know what she's talking about. I lost it a lot. I don't know. No idea. She's still talking about things them but also loving ourselves and wanting to prove to ourselves that we can get things done which like i said is a good thing shit looks clean already i i want to point out that these people all have these like you know these vlogs where they talk they just wax about like how amazing you are and all shit and they live like the most privileged lives it just, this is what disconnects a lot of people. In the end, they like start watching because they're like, I don't want to see this because it's disingenuous because it's like, look how perfect I am. And like, why don't you just, have you ever just thought about just being perfect like me? Because that's how this works. <laughs> that makes you an amazing person. That makes you a person who holds themselves accountable. And that is something that should be celebrated. I want you to get out of bed and go throughout your day not expecting perfection from yourself. You're While you are. Literally showing how perfect you are. Thanks, Confucius. We're well, gonna have a moment today where you feel disappointed about something, and we all are. So try to find the good in it. Think. Hey, you know what? I've got some advice for you. If you're having a bad day, have a bad day. Don't make a video about it. Have a bad day, chill. Do the thing, self care, love yourself. Get into the bath, get what you need, tell your husband it's like it's on. Whatever you need. 
but you don't have to be like, it's, I'm, I'm having a bad day, but I'm perfect. You know what? Just be like, I'm having a bad day. F the world. That's okay, too. About how it might be happening for you and not to you. What is that? I mean, if I hadn't messed up those muffins this morning, I might not be saying the words that you might need to hear today. <laughs> is she literally talking about... This is her bad day, okay? Everybody ready? She messed up the muffins, okay? And she's like, but and now it just made me rethink my entire existence. I messed the muffins up. Oh, my God. <laughs> the muffins. <laughs> And then the last video we talked about when she had their kids had cookie on their face and it was like the end of the world because she's about to run into people she hadn't seen in five years. Could you imagine these were your problems? Could you imagine? Oh my God. Yeah. And I wouldn't have felt inspired to do this video and tell you all this. And I'm hoping that this video is helping a lot of people. It's not. Well, and okay. I can see now how it happened for me. Now I'm human and my first thought this it, it sounds like she murdered a bunch of people. She's like, I'm, you know, everybody makes mistakes. They were, we were just camping. We were going cliff and I pushed her by accident. She fell down a cliff and, you know, it made me rethink my life. And it's just, she did have a better purse than me though. And like her makeup was way better. Her eyebrows were on point that day. I looked like a bag of shit, but it was an accident. And she, but no, she didn't kill anybody, everybody. She put extra milk in a muffin mix and had a crisis on her hands. <laughs> this is amazing. This is amazing. Holy shit, lady, your muffins are terrible. You should be ashamed and feel bad. Dummy. Thank you, creep at me. Oh, careful. I'm married, okay? Chill, we are just, we are co-hosts, okay? I know that I put the vibe out a little bit, but just relax, okay? I get it, it's the hands, relax. Follow Creepy Makeup make Baby on Instagram. When I messed up the muffins was, quite frankly, the F word. <laughs> it wasn't. Wait, wow, what'd she I say? Can't... And my first thought this morning when I messed up the muffins was, quite frankly, the F word. <laughs> <laughs> Love Meg needs her own little swear pillow with her little font. Love Meg. And she just swears curses into it. Love it. It wasn't. Wow, I can't wait to see what kind of magic happens from me messing up today. No, that wasn't my first thought. Muffins. They were muffins. Muffins. <laughs> what is this pajamas? Because we're human. The last thing I want to- You already vacuumed that spot, lady. When you're not feeling like your normal self, the small things can seem so big. It was just muffins. That's it. Thank you. So you did a nine minute video because you shit the bed on the muffins? My family still had breakfast, just oatmeal instead. Oh, peasants. You should be ashamed of yourself feeding your kids just oatmeal. Ugh. It was no big deal, but in the moment, I was making it about me and my insecurity. Hmm. This whole vlog is about you, lady. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Your insecurities? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god, this is amazing. So it felt like a huge deal. You already vacuumed that. It wasn't. I also knew my hormones were making me feel like things like this are a big deal, when in reality, that's a lie. It felt like such a huge deal and something to really worry about. Could you imagine doing this as your job? Holy shit! Lady, you getting to eat! I'd be like, where are you with breakfast? She's up there vacuuming the side of the bed. Out at the time. Now, eight years later. Can you imagine? Just saying. Your wife rolls into bed. Your wife rolls into the bedroom after getting, you know, getting her ablutions finished. And she's wearing these jammies, you're like, well, I'm going to bed. Because <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you, know you know it's not happening if she, she's wearing shit like that. I realize I worried about that for no reason at all. We have oh a super my God. close mother-daughter bond, and I wish I could have seen into the future. Such a bond. We're so close, but hey, you're on your own, little lady, when you get older. All this you see here is none of this is for you. You should probably get a job. Mom, I'm five. Did you hear me? You think this shit's free? You think those muffins I messed up are free? Go get a job. Okay, I don't care. Do you get you gotta do. 
Go get a PPP loan or something. Worry about it. Of course. She, I don't even know what she's talking about anymore. I'm... We want to try our best for our families, and we should always strive to be trying for our best for our families. But in Do people, people watch this shit. It's great. Mm -hmm. There are so many things that we are worrying about that will never come to pass. They will never happen. And it's probably our own insecurities or the fact that we care so much about something that's making us anxious about it. Or maybe it is hormones. Oh my God! It's making you depressed. It's probably hormones. Do you feel very vulnerable coming out with this video and saying all of these things? You didn't say shit, lady. You just said you messed up the muffins and don't let it ruin your life. Okay, I won't let muffins ruin my life. You happy? But I really hope that if, even if it helps one person, even if this is someone's video that they watch every morning. That's badass, not gonna lie. That's badass. Does my, I have that vacuum. Does it, is that what that's supposed to do? <gasps> I've been taking that shit apart. Oh man that they need to just to get out of bed and get going in the morning, then it'll all be worth it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really do hope it is helping someone out today. Leave it a thumbs up if you did. Your choice of music? <laughs> Don't like it. So there we go. Thank you for giving me that video, whoever gave that to me. It's definitely, you know, a, a crisis intervention. If you guys ever, you know, put too much shit in your muffins, you know, you might as well just call it a day. You might as well just, you know, just pack it up and leave. Just never come back. See ya. Like, I just, I don't know. Every, every time I watch another one of these, I just, I, I cannot believe how more, how, how much more shallow these people can get. It's just mind blowing. I hope that we're, I'm making a difference when we're shutting these, when we're bringing these people down and we're revealing the shit in these videos. I hope those work. I'm getting a lot of, I get a few comments here and there, but like, shame on you. They're just trying to be this. I'm like, yeah, but you're comparing yourself to these people. And if you're here standing for them, like if you're sticking up for them, why? They don't like you. They don't. They nothing you. So, I mean, I just, I get it, because this is their niche, but why is this a thing? Why do we pay these people so much money? Why do we give them our social media currency? They don't deserve it. Love Meh has a lot of history we're gonna break down here. But the one thing that drew me to Love Meh, again, and we gotta reiterate this again, is her PPP loan. And she's blocking anybody who asks about it, they're not gonna come out, and there's round two coming out, guys. So you know we're gonna keep our eyes peeled on that website. Soon as they take those loans, we're coming at them. Please spread the word, everybody. If you know somebody in a small business who needs a PPP loan, please get them to go early to get this loan. Because you know that they're these people have financial advisors and bankers that are gonna help them get ahead. But let everybody you know go get this damn loan before these people can get it. You know they're gonna get it, and they don't give a shit about anything. We have to make this hurt for them. We, you know, if they made a $35,000 loan, and they took it, and they're not gonna pay it back to the government, and it made someone else miss out on it, then I think the next step for us is to go after their advertisers with politeness, with like super niceness, and say, you know what, I, I, I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna buy these products like the shitty pop-up paper towels anymore. Uh, be, and here's why. I think we're gonna just, until you stop advertising, you have to kill them with kindness. If you reach out to the advertisers and be mean about it, they're not gonna care. But if you actually truly reach out with a really crafted, a well-crafted message saying, look, I used to like your product and I realized that you guys are sponsoring someone that is problematic. First, a person that took money that didn't need it, then travels during COVID. There's some major issues you can call forward, not just that you don't like them, but there are major issues on their channel, right? And we're going to say, I no longer want to support you because you support that channel. And until you decide to back off their advertising, you've lost a customer. But be nice about it and go over to the problem with the family vloggers dash the DCP and we're gonna concentrate on one family vlogger, likely love me or someone else and just see if this actually works. Starting campaigns, you know, not targeting and going after, but just like a, a, an informational campaign to these advertisers saying, hey, we no longer are gonna support you if you keep supporting this type of channel a channel that exploits children without their consent. That's kind of the basic most thing, but the PPP thing has got people pissed, and for good reason. Love me, you took money you didn't need, absolutely didn't need. You probably bought an airplane with it, not gonna lie. And so now we're gonna, and for now I hope that karma comes to you and that, you know, it doubles in your losses.
Let's hope that happens. Guys, follow me on Instagram. I am this close to 10,000. Like, this close! Ashley Schenker pointed out to me. Thank you, Ashley. She's one of my she's one of my OGs. I love Ashley. Um, she pointed out to me. She said, I'm almost there. I'm gonna do a photo shoot when it happens. I'm so excited because I do the swipe up feature and it's gonna be it's gonna grow this channel too because swipe up's easy. They swipe up, go to the video I'm talking about. If you don't follow me on Instagram, there's lots of stuff going on there. Pictures of dogs, I do the story things, whatever they're called. Uh, I love it. So please, 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 please spread that around. Let people go subscribe to me on Instagram. I would really appreciate that. That's one great way you can support me. Another way you can support me, buy a t-shirt. Check them out. I got Sam shirts. I got F raisins. I got Chachi. I love dad bods. You name it. We got tights or leggings, whatever they're called with the name Chachi on them. We got raisins. Lots of cool stuff. Lots of great stuff happening. I got, I got dog sweaters, got masks. We got, I'm pretty sure we have bras. I don't even know. We got some shit down there. Go take a look. You can head over to Patreon, subscribe to Patreon. I'm going to put every Patreon's name in there. I'm going to put it in the wheel of throw soon so whenever i throw a ball it's my patreons and if you join this channel you get like cool little stickers and shit it's cool anyway you want to support me but please hear me if you don't have money to support me please do not feel obligated to support me please do not and if you do have money extra money just lying around give it to someone who needs it for real but if you do want to buy me a coffee and i, I cannot dissuade you from doing so ko-fi is a place to buy me a coffee i i love starbucks vanilla bean with a little bit of strawberry fra uh f f shit in it that's what I like. Anyway, thank you so much. Everybody take a deep breath in and say this with me. At least I'm not her. Can we agree? I will see you tomorrow. It's going to be a big week. So let's get to it. <laughs>